Hi, thank you for watching our video. Well, if you want more help in physics content, check out our bio and click on to the Project Lightbot teaching series. We have a lot of physics content that is created and I'm sure you'll benefit too. So sit back now and then watch the practical. Okay, let's try this 2018 paper. You are going to determine the mass of a test tube and the density of a sample of oil. Figure 1.1 shows the apparatus that it will be used during the experiment. So first I have a 50 cm cube measuring cylinder, I think this is the one. Then I have a 100 cm cube measuring cylinder, this is the one. I'm supposed to have a test tube, this is my test tube and later I'm going to put oil inside. I'm supposed to have tap water over here and I'm supposed to have oil over here, okay? All right, so I'm supposed to add about 30 cm cube into the 50 cm cube of measuring cylinder. So this oil goes in here. So I'm going to just label O here. And then later on, I'm going to level it at the 30 cm mark. Then I'm going to add about 70 cm cube of tap water into the 100 cm cube of measuring cylinder. So this is my W. Okay, then I'm going to lower this test tube inside and the water level most likely will rise carefully lower so that no water enters, alright. Then I'm going to use the dropper pipette A, dropper pipette A to transfer oil from measuring cylinder to test tube and record water reading so this will go up, record oil reading so this will go down. Repeat steps by having four portions of oil, then record reading to 0 0.5. So let me just mark some things down. This is up to 0 0.5, which is also one decimal place. Then I'm supposed to complete table 1.1 for each row data by calculating the total volume of oil. So I want to find the oil inside. Okay, so the oil that's going inside most likely will be the original reading, which is 30, minus away the new reading, which is V. So D is actually 30 minus V. So let me write down here first. Right, so I think I can start. So there's, we have a few cameras that's helping us with this. So I'm moving to the cylinder cam now. So first of all, I'm going to add oil, 30 cm of oil into this. Right, and I get my pipette ready. This is my A pipette. So make sure there's no contamination. So 30. Let's go, 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 go. Just before I reach 30, I will pause and use the pipette to level it off. Okay, so as you can see, right, we are at about 29. So we're actually very close. That's great estimation. Okay, let's take another reading. Okay, I think we are almost there. I think we are good, right? Right on the meniscus. Okay, let me leave it up a bit higher for you. Yeah, okay, I think we are good, right? So I'm gonna leave this, yeah, here. But I'm just gonna put it here, all right? Okay, then next is for water. Water, I want 70 to go inside. So I must have the other pipette so that oil doesn't go in. Okay, let's go, 70. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Are we there? Almost there. Okay, then let's get it to level off. I think let the bubble settle. We are at about 68. Okay, so let's just set. Are we at 70 yet? Uh, we just need a bit more, okay? So we don't need to have pinpoint accuracy, okay? Yeah, okay. I think we are there, just below the meniscus, 70. Yes! Okay, don't look already, all right? Once you feel that you got it, you got it. Don't second guess yourself. All right, so now we're going to lower the test tube. Test tube must go inside here. So this water cannot go inside the test tube. So I don't have a tweezer, so I'm going to use my finger to slowly... Lower it and let go. Whoa, there's some good crazy skills, right? Okay, all right, good. So now we got it. Okay, so I'm going to transfer. Okay, we need to transfer about 
uh, one cm cube of oil from here over to here. So let's just try one pump. Okay, I just got to make sure that it's inside. Oh, that's mad skills. Yeah, make sure that everything comes out. Okay, it's actually not possible to get everything out, but as much as possible. That's also a hint that will usually be helpful in your last part of the question. Okay, so all these experiments are not perfect. If not, they have no question to ask, ask you in the end. So let's see if this oil has dropped. Oh, yes, now it is at 28. All right, so I'm going to write this down. Oil reading is at 28.0. Okay, let's look at our water reading. Water reading. Where are we at? Oh, we are at 91, I think. All right. Okay. 91.0. Okay. All right. So let's let's carry on. I think one pump is a is a good gauge. Transfer. So let's carry on with that. The main concern is I want to make sure that. Uh, the water level doesn't exceed the 100 mark. So that's the main control factor. Okay, all right, yeah, we're still well below. Squeeze everything out. Okay, then let's read off for the oil first. So oil went out, we are at 27. 27.0. Water, we are at... 92, oh, okay. Okay, All right, let's go on. I think we are on a roll. One pump, suck it all up. Oh, make sure everything goes inside as much as possible. Okay, then we read from the oil. We're at 26. Water. We are at 90, looks like. Oh, it's a bit, I think it's uneven. Okay, but it looks like it's 93, okay? Right? 0 0.0. The ratio is about one to one. Okay, I'm gonna add a bit more oil so that I can uh, have a bigger difference. So this time round, I'm gonna have two pumps because we are still quite far away from 100. So we are safe. Oops. Another one. Whoa, now I'm at quite high. Beautiful. Okay, let's take a reading of the oil first. 24. And water, where are we at? Water, we are at 90. It looks like close to 95, but I don't think I hit 95 yet. I'm going to mark it as 94.5. Okay, all right. Okay, last one, last one. I think I will push it. Let's add a bit more oil because we still have some. Okay, let me get it near. Oh. Oil is getting lower and lower, so it's quite hard to do the pump, but just give it a few more small shots. Okay. More, more. Okay, still far away from 100. Oh. I think my keypad is a bit broken. Oh, even the label is dropped. Can I see that? Why are we? I think right now we are at. It looks like we are at. Um, 20, 23. Let me raise it up for you to see. Okay. Right, can you see that? Okay, it's at 23. So, don't feel that it's low enough, but I will just do it. Don't, again, don't second guess yourself too much. Okay, and for the water, okay, water is much higher, so I'm going to remove some of the books so that you can 
read it level with the meniscus. Okay, we are at 95. Okay, right. Okay, I kind of like the last few readings because my feeling is that as the rate of the decrease of oil should not be the same as the rate of increase of water because the density of oil is actually lesser than one, right? So this is if you know your physics, then you also kind of know what to expect in your experiment. So I'm going to do the calculation part. So 30 minus V, so total volume of oil added here will be 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, 6.0, 7.0. So I got my full table up, right? Make sure one decimal place. I should get these three marks. Okay, so next I will get to plot the graph, okay, of uh, W against D, which is this set of values against this set of values, right? So see you in the next video.